Yo, what it do, y'all? What's up, YouTube family? What's up, boys? How y'all doing? This is day four of the journey, posting every single day. The goal of zero retention all year round. Bro, these last few days, the one thing that I have noticed, especially yesterday, is your tolerance for nonsense and negativity and anything that does not align with what it is that you're doing while you're doing this and trying to be as disciplined as possible, it's clipped. It's clipped. It's so clipped. Not only that, but you won't even entertain it. You won't even entertain it. You won't entertain the negativity. You won't entertain the people coming your way that you know they're just on fucking bullshit. You won't entertain none of it. I promise you. Your tolerance for that shit is going to be so low because you know it's not aligning with what you're trying to do and where you're trying to go. On Everything I love everything i love and it could just be anything it could be anything it could be negative words like bro just see just last night <clears throat> somebody was saying something to me and they said something matter of fact i'm a, they said uh what was i doing what was i doing how many remember what was i doing Fuck it, i don't remember i don't remember exactly what i was doing but they said to me bro you're a demon and I was like, what? I'm a child of God. Don't ever say that shit to me. And I know people be trying to use that word as like a ha ha he he ha ha, but that shit not funny to me. Don't say that shit to me. That shit is not funny. And I explained to them, I was like, yo, that's kind of crazy that you said to me because a kid that I used to work with said that to me once. And I later on, you know, piece together. I was like, oh, it's, he was saying that shit because he doesn't like you. Like, he can't stand you. His spirit can't stand you. And so when he said that, I explained that to him. I was like, that's funny that you say that because somebody else I, I used to know used to say that to me too. So now I know that you, 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 you can't stand me either. You in my face and you, 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 you entertaining and trying to have a conversation with me and trying to get my energy. But I can clearly see that you can't, you can't stand me. So that comment alone clipped. And it's so crazy because even after that, they said something else. I was like, interesting that you would say that. Then they said something else. Interesting that you said that. When I tell you, after we stopped communicating, I went to my contacts, deleted the number, rewind, went to, went to my messages, clicked on it, clicked on info. You know how they do on iPhone. Block contact, then went to my contacts, deleted the number. You will never speak to me ever again. You will never have communication with me ever again because, bro, I'm a firm believer in when you're on your grind and you're trying to put yourself in a certain head frame and space, telling yourself affirmations so that you can get up and do the things that you need to do and accomplish your goals, make your priorities, the devil knows who to send to say the things that he feels like are going to get you get under your skin or at least get, un get under the version of you that once was skin. So it's not coincidence. Say, for example, uh, Say, for example, you're insecure about your elbows, right? Insecure about your elbows. And you've been working at, I'm going to make it actually very specific. Please bear with me. Very, bear with me. Say you have a cyst on your elbow, right? And you've been working to try to get the money so that you can get the surgery to get it removed. You finally get the money to get it re removed, right? Or you make a plan to get it removed. And somebody comes up to you. What's that on your elbow? Oh, my God. Clearly, that's the devil. Clearly, that's the devil. They ain't got no business even paying attention to something like that. But it's in their purview because the devil sent them to care about some shit like that. Or to say that shit out their mouth. Or to be negative to you in that way. When you are on your grind, the devil is literally going to send people to be negative. Literally going to send people to be negative. And it's not even just tolerance towards negativity. It's tolerance towards everything. Last night, I'm laying in bed. 
watching TV on my phone, flipping back between TikTok and Amazon Prime, watching a show and watching TikToks as I fall asleep. And I get a DM from Shorty on my, on my Instagram. And this is a girl who I DM weeks ago, weeks ago, weeks ago. And as I'm in my bed trying to fight the urge not to be on Twitter, not to, you know, do what men do late at night, not to text a girl so that I can have some type of, you know, you know, I get a DM from the very person I told myself, oh, okay, well, you know what, since you didn't respond, then I'm it is basically clipped at this point. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you. But lo and behold, as I'm trying hard, I and mean, bro, I was in bed like, ooh, ooh. Lo and behold, when I tell you, I didn't even open the message. I didn't click the DM. I dead ass swiped. And delete it because I don't even want that temptation sitting in my phone. I don't even want me to be one day feel so weak in my flesh that I just go back and I, you know, tolerance is low. Swipe and delete. I'm not having it on my phone. I don't even want the notification sitting at the top with the extra one or two. How many messages I got? I don't want that. Your tolerance is going to get very, very low for anything that does not align with what it is that you're trying to do. If it's not positive, if it's not in alignment with what it is, your goals are, I promise you, you will have zero tolerance for that shit. And as you should, as you should. And that's one of the best things about this journey. It puts you in the mind frame and the state of mind of being like, what is important? What is my priority? Even today, this morning, I talked about in my last video, how the first thing you need to do when you wake up in the morning is you don't need to be on your phone. You need to get up, get out of bed. What is that? What's that song? That Lupe Fiasco song? Get up, get out, and get something. Amen. That song. I wish that song was the. I wish that song was. Matter of fact, the song is playing right now in the background. It, it, you can't hear, it, but it's playing. Get up, get out, and get something. Don't be on your phone. That's not your priority. Write down your goals. That's your priority. Get out of bed. Go do something. That should be your priority. Anything that's not online with your goals and your your your, your I promise you, you're not gonna have any tolerance for it. And I feel like that that is a blessing. So for any boys that are watching this video and you're like, Lord, how do I get on my grind? Try this right here. Try this right here. Yeah, guys, this is day four. I'll check back in on day five. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on this journey. Peace.